I need help still in getting organized because everything is constantly changing. But, you know, just the ages that my kids are at and everything, I realize that I need to continue to declutter. I need to continue to get as organized as possible because it makes me feel better when things run smooth. It makes me feel better when I go to look for something and it's there as opposed to I go to look for something and because it has no forever home, I'm always constantly stressed or like, uh, like on a 10 because I can't find things or because stuff isn't where it should go and that's the part that's really starting to like drive me nuts and I just want to fix it so today I'm going to be working on my drawers for the last little while I've been trying to work my own little miracle morning and I've been trying to get up really early like 5 a.m. Like a lot of times it's 5.30 a.m. Like if I'm being a little bit more realistic the way my life is set up it's kind of like 6 a.m. The other morning the alarm goes off and I did it. You know it's 5.15 and I woke up because a lot of times that doesn't always happen. So I get up, I get out of the bed, I'm, you know, I'm feeling good, I go in the bathroom, I brush my teeth, I say my affirmations, I'm steaming my face, you know, the morning things that you do. And I come out to the dresser to pull out what I'm gonna put on for the day. I wanted to be able to just put it on and go. I open the drawer, you guys, can't find anything. Now my top drawer houses like socks and, you know, intimates, your bras and undies and that kind of stuff. So. All right, no big deal to go into that drawer. Pull it, you know, I pull what I need right out of that one. But the next drawer I go into, it's full because I can barely close it and I'm, I'm just digging through like this. Nothing is jumping out at me. Nothing is saying wear me. Like, I don't want to wear anything out of the drawer. So I go to the next drawer, open it up. I'm digging through that one. And I'm looking like, mm, maybe this and then no. And then I look at one thing and I'm like, oh, hell no, that's way too wrinkled because I don't have time to turn on an iron. In, at 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm, I'm up and I got things to do. That's the way I feel in the mornings when I get up. So I need to be able to just grab and go when it comes to my stuff, right? So I go to the bottom drawer and I still don't find anything. So then I move over to my closet. So now I have some drawers in my closet. There's three drawers in there also. So now I pull out one of the drawers. I'm like, I'm not seeing anything that I First of all, I need to put on a tank top or a t-shirt that's decent enough to go out of the house in to exercise in in the morning and that I could maybe wear through the rest of the day if I don't shower and change my clothes because that doesn't always happen. I, I have kids. I'm not seeing anything. So now I'm starting to get frustrated because at this point I am wasting my time. Time is everything in the morning when I get up because I'm on limited time, you know? So it's like, I don't have time for this. I don't have time to be digging through my drawers because I can't find anything to wear. Why is all of this shit in my drawers if I don't wear it? And a lot of the stuff in there, you guys, like I don't wear on a regular basis. There are certain things that I pull out and I wear consistently like all the time and those are just the pieces that I gravitate toward and the pieces that I like. I have been sort of drawn to or wondering I guess what a capsule wardrobe was because I keep seeing it floating around on YouTube and I'm like yo what the heck is a capsule wardrobe? So I watched a few videos and I'm not 100% sure like I completely understand I but from what I think I can gather, it's a way to keep key pieces in your wardrobe that you can intermix and change out with the other pieces. And that way you don't have so much stuff. You, you have a limited amount of things, but you can mix and match them so many different ways. And they're all things that you like and you know that you enjoy wearing, I guess. So that's what kind of like what I'm thinking. It takes me back to the life-changing magic of tidying up the book by um, Marie Kondo and where you go through and you take everything out and then ask yourself, does this spark joy? You know, do I look good in this? Do I feel good in this? Does this make me feel fat when I put it on? Do I feel sexy when I wear this? You know, do I feel, how do the pieces make you feel? And from there you determine whether you're going to keep them or whether you're going to toss them out. So anyways, I feel like I have talked for a whole, whole, whole lot, but I am going to um, go ahead and go through and declutter my drawers. And if you are watching this and you are on a mission to do some spring cleaning and you need to start somewhere, start in your room and start with your clothes. Start with the things that go on your back first thing in the morning that make how you feel because our clothes are 
our representation of who we are. You know, when we choose things, we select things because we, you know, we want it to make us feel a certain way and you should feel a certain way and look a certain way when you put your things on. So um, definitely I would maybe start in the closet with decluttering or if you're already getting ready to do that, then I hope that this video motivates you to get rid of the things that don't spark joy, that don't make you feel good, that are, that you don't even wear so that when you open your drawer, because this is my plan when this is all done. When I get up at 5 a.m., when I actually get up and, and you know, I'm fired up to go, I want to open that drawer and I want to pull out a pair of leggings or exercise pants, whichever ones I want. Boom. I want to pull out a tank top or a t-shirt or a long sleeve shirt, whatever I'm going to wear on top. Boom. I want it to match. I want it to be good to go. And I don't want to have to dig through 12 drawers simply just to find that. So let's go and um, minimalize my clothes. Okay, so I'm about to get started in my drawers. I'm going to go and get some trash bags so that I can put stuff that's like ragmo and tour bag and just needs to go in the trash if there's even anything like that i'm not sure but just anything that's probably not uh something that i would donate or give to somebody else i'm gonna put that stuff in one pile and then all of this stuff that i'm gonna donate i'm gonna put in another pile and then all of the stuff that i'm gonna keep i'm gonna put in another pile and here we go. I don't know why, like, I'm excited to do this. <laughs> so, do you see this? For starters, Preston and Penelope's little fingerprints all over. <laughs> um, clothes are just hanging out, hanging out, <laughs> hanging out. I mean, that literally means that they're stuffed to capacity, but I can't find stuff to wear in the morning. Something's wrong here. I will show you what is going on inside of my drawers currently, which, you know, I mean, this is the internet, so, you know, some of y'all can be pretty harsh, but it is what it is. This is the state of my freaking drawers, so whatever. I'm gonna show you that, and then um, I'm gonna fix them, and that's the part that counts, is that I'm doing the work to fix them. So let me go charge this up and get the bags. Okay, so this is my top drawer. I'm not going to open this one all the way up because it's got my personal stuff in it, but it's a mess. <laughs> this is the next drawer. So, I mean, honestly, my wardrobe consists of all things black. So, I think I realized that I really like black tops. Um, I'm a, definitely a big fan of black tops. Any kind of black shirts, like I... I'm down for them. Some of this stuff is my husband's. Like, this shirt is my husband's. This is Preston's. Like, why is this stuff even in my drawers? Just, you know, being in a hurry to put laundry away and, you know, oh, I'll just put it in there for right now. Um, I think I kind of like grays, too. This is, like, some shirts from when I was in the Army. I like to put these on when I'm kind of just, like, lounging around the house or whatever, like, as T-shirts. And then t-shirts I don't even know why this is in the drawer because this should have been in the closet so that and then just like what is this stuff like just ridiculous then in the next drawer here we go again with mostly black this is again hubs um <clears throat> Black shirts, more shirts. These are shorts. My Santa hat, which this should have been put away with the Christmas stuff. So, I mean, just little stuff like this. And honestly, I like, I can't sit here and act like I'm too proud or embarrassed to say it because this video is going to help somebody else that literally has their stuff all over the place the same way and I know that so with that being said I'm talking to you when I say this kind of stuff is really just a matter of not putting stuff away when you're supposed to every single thing in your house that you have that you own it needs a forever home it needs a permanent space that you're always gonna return it back to and because I don't have that for my clothes I did and then it kind of just fell off and when laundry is done and I'm just trying to put it away because I've done so many loads that day stuff just starts to go in any drawer and when it comes to organizing like that really can't be it you need to put your things away and they all need to be in a specific drawer t-shirts in one drawer or t-shirts and tanks or you know shorts and leggings or leggings only or however you choose to organize it whatever works for your life and whatever is the most functional but it has to have a space this is the result of just shoving stuff in drawers after it has been 
folded and I just kind of put it away wherever and that's why they're shoved to capacity. They're not nice and neat and there's different types of clothes in each drawer. And so, I mean, that's just the reality of what it is and I can admit that. So let's keep it moving. So again, here's this and then I have like some nicer stuff like, all the way down, like on the very bottom. Like how this stuff got on the bottom, I don't even know. So there's that drawer. <clears throat> okay, so the bottom drawer is a little bit brighter than the other drawers. So um, according to the life-changing magic of tidying up, you should have a space where you keep like things like this, like stuff that if I'm gonna be cleaning up, I'll clean up in a shirt like this that already has bleach spilled on it. Or if I'm painting, I'll paint in something like this so that I'm not messing up something that's actually nice. This is already sort of damaged. And then there just looks like more shirts in here. Now, mind you, from the day that I was looking and I couldn't find anything, um, I probably still had laundry to do too, but I also looked. So now there's leggings, several different types of shirts in here. Uh, again, like my painting pants, tank tops, t-shirts, more pink stuff, and shorts. So this drawer just has way too much of everything in it. Like, there's no structure here, and of course that makes it pretty hard to find something. That's the dresser. I do currently have a pile of laundry, so that needs to get done. But obviously in here, this is just a bunch of different stuff. I can tell already by the shimmery dance bra, the pajamas, and then the shirt that should be on a hanger. My jeans are all here. And then I've got some stuff folded up that didn't get put away right here, which is all mostly like warm stuff, like velour pants and sweatpants and footy pajamas and like my flannel. So that stuff is all like warm weather stuff. And then I have these drawers right here. And I think they all have, again, different stuff in them. Um, stuff that's kind of folded every which way. That's a scarf. Pajamas, sweaters, and looks like miscellaneous items. So it's time to go through all this stuff again and only keep certain pieces. So I don't know. I'm in some kind of a mood today. So when that happens, it's like, better watch out. I might be waking up tomorrow like, <laughs> I threw away all my clothes. But you know what, if that happens, then that just means like the old is gone and I am welcoming and making room for the new. So if you look at it like that, it might make it easier to get done. All right, let's do this. my drawers in sort of in a way that I flow in the morning so I know when I come out of the bathroom and I come in if I've taken a shower in the morning then I need to grab you know underclothes and then a shirt and then pants and so on so I'm trying to make it so that everything just kind of goes smoothly I made a drawer for my pajamas so I'm gonna do my best to make sure that pajamas always go back in the pajama drawer that is their forever home and even if I guess I don't put them back in there right away, I know that no matter what, when it's time to put something away, the pajamas need to go in the pajama drawer. So I am just folding, basically using the um, KonMari method, for the most part anyways, on most stuff I use that anyway, and it's just a way of folding things in rectangles so that everything can be filed in your drawer in like a really good line, and then you can see the colors and whatever of all of the clothes that you have. So, so for my tanks, I just lay them out. You lay everything out. Um, I fold them in half basically so that they're like this. And then I always tuck the straps in and then you just fold it to, I usually do about three times and it just makes this little rectangle. 
but that way it stands up like nicely in your drawer so you can file all of your clothes and it saves space because then you can go really far back. Usually because I'm rushing through laundry I don't get to fold up my clothes like this on a regular basis so I want to make it a point to do better with laundry so that I can actually get my clothes folded the way I need them to be in my drawers like this. Okay so don't judge me but that suitcase sitting right there yeah that one I went to Vegas about two and a half weeks ago and the suitcase is still sitting there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that all cleared out too so that I can finally get it out of the middle of my floor. I wasn't gonna do my husband's drawers but I lied I'm totally gonna do his drawers too because I feel like one side of the drawer cannot be all set and the other side is not so I just told him right now I'm like I know what you wear I know what you don't wear I know what just sits in the drawers because I do the laundry so I'm ready to tackle his drawers too and then we should be clutter free in the closet Okay, so I've pulled everything out of all of the dresser drawers. I've created some piles. Um, I just gave some stuff to my sister because she's here. So I gave her some shirts and stuff and everything else has gone into the bags and the piles. So now I just pulled some stuff out of my closet. So I'm gonna go through that, take out what I'm keeping, what I'm not keeping, and then comes the fun part, folding everything that I am keeping and putting it all back away. So. Um, definitely when you go through your closet you want to probably devote a day to doing this because you don't really realize how much stuff you have till you pull it all out it's a lot of stuff to put away okay so at this point I just have all this stuff folded up that needs to be put away most of this is my husband's stuff all of his shirts and everything I've pretty much got my drawers figured out and the closet figured out so after I do laundry I think and then everything is clean that's when I'm gonna go back in and see about maybe trying to build a little bit of a capsule wardrobe I'm not going full out here but I I do want to try something as I'm getting rid of a bunch of stuff so I'm gonna put all of the rest of this stuff away and then that is pretty much it I'm I think I'm down to the stuff that I wear, the stuff that I like, uh, the stuff that looks good on me, the stuff that fits, the stuff that makes me feel good when I put it on. I think it is the craziest thing when we look in our closets and we're like, I have nothing to wear, and you have a closet full of stuff. Closet full of stuff, and you have nothing to wear. Think about that for a second. What's going on there? What's really going on? <laughs> I just think that the hardest part about doing this and like really decluttering and really clearing stuff out that no longer serves you is actually letting stuff go so like I've had this jacket for a really long time but honestly like I don't wear it and it's like a little pea coat kind of jacket and it's purple like I don't even wear it hardly ever and to be honest it's a medium so I think it doesn't even fit me you tell I like black and you guys, I'm so proud of my husband because this big pile right here is all of his stuff that he decided to let go of. And it was like this most super simple process for him. He just was like, oh, no, not that one. Okay, no. Yeah, you can throw that one away too. Oh, yeah, I haven't worn that. Like super easy. And like, do men struggle with these kind of like issues or your closet? Like do men feel like that sometimes they have too many clothes or like they need to declutter their stuff? I don't know. Anyways, he did it really, really easily. Like I found that there was some stuff that I needed to part with, but it was like kind of hard for me. So with that being said, what I did do was make a little list. Ever since the two little ones were born, I really haven't bought very many new clothes. My body has done some weird funky things in the last couple of years. I haven't sat down to really figure that out. So in this process, while I'm throwing stuff away, I'm really asking myself this time, what do I like? What don't I like? What am I holding on to just for the hell of it? And if it's not serving me or if it isn't something that I genuinely like, I have tossed it. So now everything that I have is mostly pretty much everything that 
I like, if it, it looks good on me, or I, you know, I feel like it looks good on me, and, um, the process, the process was, um, it was interesting. It was an interesting process. So now all I need to do is some laundry. I got to get these piles done. I have the girls laundry to do as well. So I have tiny piles of laundry, which I am excited about. Everything else is already put away. And then I will be done with that part of the decluttering and we can move on to the next phase of spring cleaning. Alrighty. So the aftermath here, these are two bags that are being donated. This is my husband's bag and this is my bag. So what I did over here for him was I lined up all of that stuff in the top drawer. The bottom drawer has all of his t-shirts. This bottom drawer has more t-shirts now there is some stuff in the laundry so i have some space in between here now to bring in some of the stuff that comes out of the laundry and then over to my top drawer so i kind of changed this around a little bit so i just have the current scarves that i will be wearing probably just on my head i've got bras lined up right here other bras like sportsy bras and then the two perfumes that i'm wearing at the moment then down to my second drawer i've got tanks and t-shirts so i have all of the tank tops that i have kept in what i would like to say is a variety of colors <laughs> and then i have all of my t-shirts which i mean obviously I have a lot of black t-shirts um these are like army shirts and then some other colors going on down to my third drawer i have leggings i am doing laundry for the beginning of the week so a lot of my like um dance pants and workout pants and leggings are in the wash not that i have a lot of them because i don't but there's more to put in this little area right here and then these are all just like my dance shorts and last but not least like tank tops i have socks here in the middle I have two pairs of jean shorts. These are also another pair of shorts. They're like flimsier shorts. And then these are some kulaksy kind of pants, but they're really comfortable. And so I don't really wear these outside of the house too much, but um, they're kind of like more like lounge wear inside.